Guys, big shout out to my friend Dimitri. He is in math class. He actually discovered this. He's got a Twitch channel and I would love it if you can go check the man out. With that being said, let's talk about today's video and what we're doing here. We're actually testing a perk that Dimitri discovered earlier that we really have not given much attention to and that is Disruption Break. Now Disruption Break, you've probably seen it before in like the Ikelos SMG. It states that breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. And that buff, at least in PvE, is like 50%. So it's no joke guys, it's a very substantial buff. The issue is, is that for a long time we thought that this was only good against enemies with like energy shields, right? Turns out, barrier champions will proc something like disruption break, which just changed the game for us. So first up, let's hit some damage values. Revoker, which is a kinetic sniper inside of a 950 nightmare, does 18,101 damage per crit. Now with something like disruption break, that throws it up by 50% to 27,151. So not a bad jump in damage, but where things really start to take off for us is when we start looking at Izanagi's Burden in Honed Edge times 4. So Izanagi's Burden with Honed Edge times 4 does 46,515 damage. Now we kind of swap gears here, we're actually in the 980 Nightmare right here, but upon proccing something like Disruption Break, this now throws our damage up to 69,772. Which again, the amazing thing about all of this is you're already going to be breaking the shield on this Barrier Champion to begin with, you're just getting a free 50% buff or debuff or whatever. Now to take it a step further, which will actually allow us to one shot these 980 Barrier Champions, if you took Izanagi's Hone Edge times 4, combined it with Disruption Break and and oppressive darkness this actually increases our damage to 108,136 which is like a 132 percent increase here in damage which is crazy now when we actually sat there and cross reference our numbers because I wanted to make sure that was actually the right damage value I think it was supposed to be 104,658 like I think there's something buggy in PvE. It's like sometimes when you're like going to kill an enemy, like a barrier champion or something, the last shot for some reason like tacks on extra damage. Somebody explain to me what that is. I'm not sure. I'm just recording damage values. Either way it goes, whether 108,000 damage is the right damage value or 104,000 damage is, both of those numbers are pretty damn good. I mean, I, I don't know if it can get much better than this. Now, what are the best weapons? Now that we've established that Disruption Break is a phenomenal perk, what are the best weapons? to have with that perk well first up we have two smgs that can both roll with random rolls and disruption break and can utilize something like armor piercing rounds and anti-barrier rounds in that mod slot and yes you heard me right armor piercing rounds we're going to go over the damage difference in armor piercing rounds it actually does more damage to these barrier knights allowing you to actually gun down those barriers even faster but first up you've got every waking moment this is actually the smg from eris it is a precision frame smg meaning meaning it shoots at 600 rounds per minute. Now the roll that you're gonna wanna use here is of course Disruption Break for that 50% increase in damage when you do break that barrier. Also the perk Genesis does proc on barrier champions. I do not have the gameplay in front of me. Dimitri actually has the gameplay on his end, but he said that Genesis does. And that is actually a trait that allows your weapon to refill its magazine from reserves when breaking a combatant shield. Perfect synergy here guys between both of these perks, especially when dealing with barrier champions. Now, armor piercing rounds this was a neat find we know that armor piercing rounds can over penetrate targets hitting multiple targets but it also says that it actually causes extra damage to combined shields now that extra damage i'm pretty sure is a flat buff to all weapons although i only really recorded damage values here of every waking moment it's about a five percent buff essentially increasing our damage here from 588 per crit to 617 and 419 to 439. So almost a 5% buff, like 4.8 to 4.9%. Regardless though, armor piercing rounds is an excellent choice to combine with both disruption break and Genesis. Now the issue that I ran into, at least in the 980 nightmare, was that my magazine size was not large enough. Can't throw on a backup mag using anti-barrier rounds. And you can't utilize something like extended mag because we're using armor piercing rounds. Part of me does question whether or not armor piercing rounds, despite giving us a 5% buff here, is more beneficial than just a magazine perk. And that was kind of like the issue plague in this SMG. It just did not have the magazine size. Now granted, that may be only the issue with every waking moment. There's also another SMG, Callus Mini Tool, which can also roll with Disruption Break. Now it doesn't have Genesis in that first trait column. Pretty much utilize whatever you want right here. 
here, maybe threat detector, but it does come in armor piercing rounds and a 37 magazine size. And it's super easy to get a callus mini tool. Just go do some menagerie, farm one up and see if you can get one with disruption break. It's probably the easiest of the three weapons that I'm showing you right now to get. I just don't know how much damage it does in comparison to something like every waking moment. Now this weapon is in the 15 impact archetype of 900 round per minute SMGs, which is the same as something like Recluse. It actually does more damage per crit than our adaptive SMGs. I'm not sure how that transfers to PVE though. That's just from PVP. I'm sure some of my dedicated PVE players can let me know. Regardless though, if you do want to stay married up to a submachine gun, callous mini tool, or every waking moment in this current set box are going to be your best two options and i think probably your only options but there was actually a weapon that was better than all of these that had the ease of use considering how big the magazine size was the damage and the range you didn't have to be up close to the target when you were melting their shields and that is the ringing nail this is the black armory auto rifle it's a precision frame auto and it shoots at 450 rounds per minute i am so ashamed that we have never reviewed this weapon i don't know why the hell we haven't reviewed this weapon but it also comes with disruption break in that final column next to it though in that first trait column i really don't know which way you want to go like maybe shield disorient but I, again that's a weird one because it says energy match shield explosion disorients nearby combatants you're not really matching an energy here. You're just using anti-barrier rounds and breaking a barrier champion's barrier. So I'm not sure if shield disorient is really gonna do anything for you, but let's just go with that first column being open to whatever it is you can get. And of course, considering that this weapon shoots at 450 rounds per minute, it's also an auto rifle. So it's doing a lot more damage. It has a lot more range. Armor piercing rounds will definitely be your best bet. This is actually on Dimitri's character and this was by far the most effective weapon with Disruption Break. So guys, that is Disruption Break in the current sandbox against Barrier Champions. Again, huge shout out to Dimitri for discovering this. This is amazing. This is gonna change the game up for me a bunch simply because nightmares as well as just nightfall ordeals are just getting kind of stale for me if i gotta go in with two izanagis and divinity one more time i'm gonna lose it and even though we showed damage from izanagis today again you could utilize this with mountaintop i actually was using it earlier and it was like mountaintop plus disruption break plus oppressive darkness i was pretty much able to kill one of these 980 barrier champions in two mountaintop shots which is pretty impressive so again guys just kind of experiment with this either way it goes disruption break is an extremely valuable trait here well fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right